वंस अपोन ए टाइम वन नाइट फोर कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स एलेक्स सैम रॉयन एंड जॉन हैड ए वाइल्ड पार्टी एंड स्टेड आउट अंटिल द अर्ली आवर्स ऑफ द मॉर्निंग दे हैड ए टेस्ट स्केजुअल्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट डे बट दे वर हैविंग टू मच फन टू थिंक अबाउट स्टडिंग द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग दे वोक अप विद हैंग ओवर्स एंड रियलाइज दे वर इन ट्रबल दे न्यू दे हैड टू कम अप विद ए प्लान टू अवॉइड टेकिंग द टेस्ट द ग्रुप सेट अराउंड ट्राइंग टू थिंक ऑफ अ वे आउट ऑफ टेकिंग द टेस्ट वेन एलेक्स केम अप विद अ प्लान ही सजेस्टेड दैट दे कवर दैम सेल्फ विद ग्रीस एंड टर्ट एंड देन गो टू द डीन्स ऑफिस एंड मेक अप अ स्टोरी अबाउट अ फ्लैट टायर द अदर्स वर स्केप्टिकल बट इवेंचुअली एग्रीड दैट इट वॉज देयर बेस्ट शॉट दे गॉट रेडी एंड मेड देयर वे टू द डीन्स ऑफिस दे टोल द डीन दैट दे हैड बीन टू अ वेडिंग द प्रीवियस नाइट एंड ऑन द वे बैक दे हैड गॉट एन अ फ्लैट टायर दे क्लेम्ड दे हैड टू पुश द कार ऑल द वे बैक टू द कैंपस एंड दैट they were completely exhausted the dean listened to their story and thought for a moment he then offered them a retest in 3 days the students were relieved and grateful but they knew they had to study hard for the next 3 days to avoid getting caught 3 days later the students arrived at the dean's office for retest the dean put them all in separate rooms and they eagerly opened their test papers expected a difficult exam to their surprise the test had only two questions the first question was easy your name one mark they all quickly filled in their names but the second question was unexpected which tire burst on that day mark 99 options front left option b front right option c back left option d back right the truth cannot be hidden no matter how much we try to cover it up with a fabricated story isn't it so what are the key lessons we can extract from this story let's discuss together the top 5 lessons lesson number 1 be accountable to yourself in this story the students were accountable to themselves for not studying and for choosing to party instead in the context of personal growth being accountable to yourself means taking ownership of your work and decisions for example let's say you have a project deadlines approaching but you haven't made as much progress as you had hoped rather than blaming external factors being accountable to yourself means acknowledging that you could have managed your time better or could have asked for help earlier by taking ownership of your actions and decisions you can learn from your mistakes and improve your performance in the future lesson number 2 don't take shortcuts in this story the students thought they could take a shortcut by lying to the dean but it only made their situation worse in the context of personal growth taking shortcut might mean avoiding the hard work that is required to achieve your goals or skipping steps that are essential to your development for example let's say you are trying to lose weight and get in shape but you are tempted to take shortcuts like crash dieting or using diet pills while these shortcuts may seem like a quick fix they often come with a negative consequences like nutritional deficiencies health problems and weight gain in the long run instead taking the long and often difficult road of eating healthy foods getting regular exercises and making sustainable lifestyle changes may require more effort and time but it is more effective way to achieve your goals and maintain good health by not taking shortcuts you will also learn discipline and perseverance and gain a sense of accomplishment which are essential qualities for personal growth and success lesson number 3 honesty is the best policy in this story the students honesty could have saved them from severe consequences if they had chosen to be truthful from the start in the context of personal growth honesty is crucial component in building trust and integrity both of which are essential for personal and professional success 
For example, let's say you made a mistake at work that could have significant consequences. While it may be tempting to cover it up or blame someone else, being honest may be difficult at times, but it is always the best policy in the long run. Choosing to be honest about your mistakes can actually work in your favor in the long run. It shows your employer or clients that you have taken responsibility of your actions and are willing to learn from your mistakes. By being honest, you also build trust with your colleagues, your supervisors or customers, which can lead to more opportunities and better relationships. Lesson number four, procrastination leads to stress. The students' decisions to party instead of studying led to a lot of stress and anxiety when they realized they had an important test the next day. This serves as a reminder that procrastination can lead to unnecessary stress and should be avoided. In the context of personal growth, procrastination can be a significant obstacle to achieving one's goals and can lead to stress and anxiety. For example, let's say you have an important project due in two weeks, but you keep putting it off and telling yourself that you will start it tomorrow. As the deadline approaches, you realize that you have a lot of work to do and not enough time to do it. This can lead to increased stress and anxiety, as well as a lower quality of work due to rushing to complete the project. To overcome procrastination, it is essential to develop good time management skills and break tasks down into smaller, more manageable steps. This can help to avoid feeling overwhelmed and can increase motivation and productivity. By breaking the habit of procrastination, you can develop a greater sense of self-confidence and self-esteem, which can lead to increased success in all areas of your life. That's the number five, prioritize responsibilities. In this story, the students' decisions to prioritize parting over studying led to a lot of stress and consequences. An example in the context of personal growth regarding prioritizing responsibilities could be a person who wants to achieve a specific goal, such as improving fitness or getting a promotion at work. To accomplish this goal, they need to prioritize their responsibilities and make changes in their daily habits, such as exercising regularly or working efficiently to meet deadlines. By prioritizing responsibilities and making the necessary changes, this person can achieve their goals and develop a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. On the other hand, if they prioritize fun activities over their responsibilities, they may not achieve their goals and may experience disappointment and frustration. Thus, Prioritizing responsibilities is an essential aspect of personal growth and can lead to success and personal fulfillment. So, what would you have done differently if you were in the character's shoes? What was the most important message you took away from this story? Is there anything else you would like to add or discuss your thoughts? Write in the comment box and share your experience or takeaway from this story with the likely-minded mastermind group. Friends, my name is Rajneesh and I wish you all the best in the journey of discovering the Guru within and becoming the local Guru of your own life. Be active and keep smiling. I will come back again with another powerful and meaningful story. Till then, Namaste.